Hey everyone, how's it going? So I've had a request from a colleague of mine who asked me to create some sort of a, a way that she could record her times between when she's a teacher and when she's a dean. She's contracted to spend some amount of hours per fortnight as a dean, but uh, as it always is with teachers, she's spending way too long uh, in that role, so she wants to get some sort of compensation for it, whether it's time off or uh, time in lieu. Um, we can't get extra money for it, unfortunately, here in New Zealand. But um, she wanted me to come up with a um, some sort of a timesheet so that she could record the information and then have that data available when she gets asked about it. So this is what I've come up with. This is a Google Sheet. It's fairly straightforward, uh, but it does have some... Um, complexities behind the scene, which I'll show you in a moment. So all it is is just a uh, graph here that shows us how much um, time she spent in each role. At the top here, we've got a date picker, and then uh, it gives her a rundown of how much time she's been spending in each role. So let's say that she wants to see um, from uh, a certain date, let's go back a day to the 10th, of December. It's not actually going to change anything because I've just created this today on the 11th of December. But uh, this is just showing off the date picker. Just double click and select your date. Double click and select the date. I wonder what happens. I haven't actually tested, but what happens if she selects, oh, 11th through the 11th? No good. So it has to be a future date. Something um, to keep in mind. So the other part to it is these five buttons down the bottom. We'll go through the easy button first. It's the reset everything button. Be very careful with this button. If you press it, things are going to go bad. However, I did think of that. So if you do press it, it does come up with a box saying, hey, are you actually sure it's going to delete everything? I don't want to delete everything, so let's click on no. These other five buttons, sorry, four buttons, are the same. They're just uh, switching between the roles. So teacher time. Uh, dean time, non-contact time, and the end of the day. Let's say that this teacher has been seeing a student for the past 10 minutes. She is currently in a deaning role. Let's say that it's actually her break time, uh, but she's having a, a student to visit with, so she has to. Uh, she wants to record it as a dean time. Once she's done with that student, she could click on the non-contact time, this button down here, and let's just take a look at what happens. Keep an eye on the proportions here and the time down here. If I click on non-contact time, going into break time, we can see that we've jumped up 10 minutes and the graph has increased. All this is, is just a column graph. So let's say that um, she continues on uh, having her break for another two minutes. I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit, uh, a couple of minutes. And let's say that uh, another student comes in, interrupts her during her break time, and she now needs to switch back to Dean time. So all she needs to do is just click the button, and when I do in a second, just watch how the graph changes and the time of the non-contact changes. We can see it jumped up a couple of minutes, and the graph increased as well. So we're going to take a quick look at behind the scenes of how I created this and um, how you could create this on your own. First, we're going to take a look at the data. This is the fairly straightforward part that uh, you usually get in a spreadsheet with a dashboard. So we've got here all of the times. We've got here the time that records when I click the button. It also records this and uh, calculates each of these. So this here is just this uh, same time exactly the same. This is the difference between these two times and these three are the time broken up between hours, minutes and seconds. This here I used for a separate list which we don't need anymore uh, but I'm going to keep it in because I've got an idea in the future. Coming across over here we've got the calculations. So this one here is the total time that the teacher has been spending as a teacher and it does take into account these dates here. So it's looking for the times between these two dates. It then converts it into a um, decimal and it splits it up into hours, minutes and seconds, handy for the graph and the display at the bottom down here. 
I've also got a graph here just in case I want to do work in this sheet without having to go back and forth between the two sheets. So fairly straightforward here. You see there's a whole bunch of blank space up here and that's because in the script, when uh, what, which we'll see in a second, it's looking for the last row of information. So here, the last row is in this uh, section here. So it's going to start putting the information into that same line. So let's take a look at the macros and see what each one does. I'm going to start at the bottom actually, uh, down here. Can we zoom in? Um, doesn't look like we can zoom in. I'll just walk it through. Um, so this down the bottom here is the reset button. All it does is it says, um, first off, create this uh, text box, message box, and make sure the person actually wants to um, reset. If no, do nothing. If yes, then delete all of this stuff. That's all it does. Each of these uh, functions here, we've got end of day there. We've got non-contact there. We've got the teacher start there and the dean start there. They're all exactly the same with one slight difference. Um, all it's saying is put in for the dean time, put in the word dean time into this box here. And then all of this stuff here is enter the date in here, the, put the date in there and then put these four calculations one, two, three, four, these five calculations in here. That's all it does. It's uh, fairly straightforward, but it did take me a lot of time because I'm used to Excel VBA, not uh, JavaScript. But um, that's all I've got for you. If you want to give this challenge a shot, it's a really good challenge to get started with dashboards. If you also want me to make it available to just hand out to people, then let me know in the comments um, and if you want me to do a full instructional video of creating this, then again, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I'm not going to because it did take me quite a bit of time and energy. Um, I think I've been working on it for about three hours now, but it's done. I've handed it off to that um, teacher colleague of mine and she's fairly happy with it. If you can think of any other improvements I could make, let me know. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.